Climate change could soon become a huge issue for this megacity on the rise. Have you ever pondered the fate of a city caught between the allure of becoming the Wall Street of the South and the ominous threats of rising seas? How does a metropolis, amidst a construction boom and a financial renaissance, grapple with the urgent realities of climate change? In this video, we'll unravel the paradoxical journey of Miami, a city on the rise yet at the forefront of America's climate crisis. From towering skyscrapes to climate gentrification, we'll be delving into the complexities that define Miami's narrative. So join us as we navigate through the challenges and opportunities shaping the magic city's uncertain future. Miami is currently experiencing a significant renaissance, earning the moniker of the Wall Street of the South as financial firms flock to Florida, attracted by lenient COVID restrictions, pleasant weather, and favorable tax conditions. This surge in population is not without tangible consequences. Nine towering skyscrapers are in progress, with the first already breaking ground, poised to become the tallest structures on the U.S. East Coast, excluding New York. Simultaneously, rising rents are pushing some residents towards the outskirts. Amidst this, the city grappled with the undeniable backdrop of climate change, a stark reality rather than a mere theoretical concern for Miami. Situated along the ocean, Miami finds itself in the midst of a booming skyscraper construction era, prompting questions about the city's longevity. How does Miami aspire to become America's next megacity while confronting the potential jeopardy of its entire future? Miami has long held its allure, thanks to its warm climate, outdoor lifestyle, and favorable tax environment. However, the pandemic served as a catalyst, intensifying the city's draw. Over the past two and a half years, Miami has transformed into a magnet for the affluent in technology, finance, and various other industries, marking a notable shift in the caliber of residents. The year 2020 witnessed a notable influx of individuals from other states seeking lockdown retreats to escape stringent restrictions. Simultaneously, major companies such as Microsoft and Amazon engaged in substantial office leasing. In 2021, Florida experienced the second largest population increase in the nation, unlocking additional business prospects. As prominent corporations established their presence, smaller enterprises, previously overlooking Miami, are now gravitating toward the city to collaborate with these industry giants. The city's newfound moniker, Wall Street South, reflects a significant influx of firms, signaling not just sporadic offices, but a deliberate move towards establishing a major base, if not headquarters. Experts predict that Miami has the potential to emerge as a key player in the tech and finance realms, rivaling the likes of Silicon Valley and London within the next decade. In defiance of the looming threat of rising sea levels, Miami is currently reaping the advantages of transforming into the Wall Street of the South, with the construction industry taking the lead in shaping its renewed identity. Scheduled to commence construction in 2023, a towering 317-meter super-tall skyscraper is poised to claim the distinction of being the tallest office building in the state. One Brickell city center is set to encompass 148,000 square meters of office space, featuring the most expansive floor plates for a Class A office tower in Miami. However, its supremacy as the state's tallest office building may face a challenge. The proposed one Bayfront Plaza is anticipated to reach 320 meters. In parallel with these commercial developments, the skyline is evolving with the emergence of expansive luxury residential projects. Among them is a proposed 319-meter skyscraper at 888 Brickle Avenue, housing 259 condos distributed across 82 stories. A standout in Miami's skyline is the Pinnacle, the Waldorf Astoria Hotel and Residences, an architectural marvel designed as a stack of colossal glass boxes ascending 100 stories. This ambitious project encompasses 360 private residential condo units, 205 hotel rooms and suites, along with a restaurant and ballrooms. Construction for this endeavor has already commenced. Construction dominates every corner, showcasing a scale unprecedented in the city's history. Substantial investments in new businesses promise a local economic boost, yet for residents, it's a double-edged sword. Record rent hikes, soaring by 45.8% over the past year, now mark Miami with the title of the most rent burdened city in America, demanding nearly 60% of renters' income for housing. 
This pushes locals to the outskirts, congesting roads and swelling out to suburbs. A familiar urban phenomenon worldwide, reflecting Miami's journey toward international metropolis status. The sustainability of Miami rests on a delicate equilibrium, navigating the intersection of development, enthusiasm and capital with the pragmatic challenges of infrastructure. The city, deviating from the conventional urban norms, contends with deficiencies in its roads, public transit and other vital elements. Originally designed as a quaint town, Miami now aspires to urban sophistication. The pertinent question emerges, is the ongoing trajectory of growth and construction myopic? What awaits Miami in the future, particularly by the close of the century or within the coming decades? A report, the Florida Climate Outlook, assembled by an independent research group, paints a somber picture. Miami's potential disappearance from maps by 2100, if not sooner. Projections indicate a rise in sea levels of up to 79 centimeters by 2060 with an accelerating pace. A recent study warns of the potential submersion of Miami Beach, Key West, and the Upper and Lower Keys. To ensure Miami's resilience over the next five decades, it allocates $4 billion in the next 40 years for the construction of new seawalls, elevated roads, and enhanced pumping and drainage systems to mitigate flooding. However, even these efforts may fall short, compelling certain areas to contemplate a managed retreat strategy. Within two decades, these locales could become financially unsustainable, necessitating abandonment. Florida's geographical position at the terminus of the Atlantic Ocean's Hurricane Alley renders it doubly susceptible to the onslaught of catastrophic superstorms compared to other states. In the one year of 2017, cyclones inflicted an estimated $265 billion worth of damage on the state. As these storms intensify in frequency and lethality, Florida is poised to become an increasingly costly place of residence. These circumstances have given rise to a novel term in Florida's real estate lexicon, climate gentrification. Initially brought into the spotlight by a 2018 Harvard study examining Miami house prices, this phrase denotes a sudden surge in the value of elevated land throughout the city. Back in 2012, the average home in Little Haiti carried a price tag of $99,600, a mere 38% of Miami Beach's equivalent. Fast forward to the present, and that figure has soared to $414,000, slightly exceeding Miami Beach. The rationale behind this surge is simple. Little AT stands at 2.1 meters above sea level, in contrast to Miami Beach's 1.2 meters. Those additional 90 centimeters are translating into financial gains at a swift pace. These elevated areas, predominantly inhabited by historically black working class and economically disadvantaged communities, now find themselves displaced to accommodate mega-luxury developments exemplified by the Magic City Innovation District in Little Eight, a billion-dollar, six-hectare venture that would have been inconceivable in the area just a few years ago, but has now become the new normal. Miami faces a multifaceted challenge, compounded by political complexities. While both presidential candidates from Florida deny human-induced climate change, local authorities are actively addressing these issues. Miami-Dade collaborates with the Southeast Florida Regional Climate Change Compact, joining forces with three neighboring countries to tackle climate-related challenges and plan for the future. In a significant move, Miami-Dade County appointed Jane Gilbert as its chief heat officer in 2021, a pioneering role in the US. However, the inclination towards limited government regulation clashes with the imperative for stringent building code enforcement. Eddie Seymour, a principal at Flux Architects in Miami, emphasizes the critical role of building codes in determining a structure's resilience against hurricanes and flood damage. Notably, the less stringent codes on Florida's west coast were evident during Hurricane Ian, contributing to its status as the deadliest hurricane to hit the mainland US since Hurricane Katrina in 2005. This underscores the delicate balance between regulatory frameworks and the urgent need for resilient infrastructure. Miami confronts challenges common to many metropolises. A shortage of affordable housing, outdated infrastructure, inadequate public transportation, inflation, and a slower-than-expected return to offices post-COVID-19 pandemic. These factors could reshape the region's dynamics before the encroaching waters become the predominant concern. Efforts for climate resilience in Miami must extend beyond affluent waterfront properties to include low- and mid-income areas. However, adaptation costs, whether borne by the public or private sector, often result in higher rent, exacerbating wealth disparities. This dilemma may compel economically disadvantaged individuals into more vulnerable neighborhoods. 
Ongoing adaptation initiatives face futility unless the global community addresses the root issue, escalating greenhouse gas emissions from burning fossil fuels, intensifying planetary warming. Miami's resilience officer underscores the absence of a singular solution, emphasizing the need for comprehensive commitment across all endeavors. The city's experience stands as a crucial lesson for coastal cities navigating an unprecedented world. Undoubtedly, Miami is a city experiencing a significant upswing. Explosive growth has triggered unprecedented construction, giving rise to towering skyscrapers not witnessed on the East Coast since New York. At the same time, the city has been designated the front line in America's climate crisis, thought to be among the most severely impacted by rising seas and escalating storms. The city's strategy to navigate this impending future is still uncertain. For now, the goal is to construct resilience preparing for the challenges that lie ahead. How do you think Miami should prepare for this unavoidable disaster? Will they truly be able to escape their fate? Let us know down in the comment section below. And if you found this video intriguing and want to delve deeper into the future of construction, be sure to subscribe to the Uber Build.